Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about factoring the eyeglass method. All right, so let me show you how to apply the eyeglass method. Example number one says 6x square minus 5x minus 4. So the question that I always ask myself, can I apply the eyeglass method? So the first thing is it should look something like this ax square plus bx plus c and it kind of looks like this right so a is equal to 6 b is equal to a is equal to positive 6 b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to negative 4 in this case and is a equal to 1 in this scenario a is not equal to 1 right so that means, yes, we can apply the famous eyeglass method, okay? Now, you may be wondering, what would happen if A, um, if A was equal to 1? If A is equal to 1, then you have to apply the diamond method, okay? I think I have already created a video on diamond method. You can check that out, okay? So, okay, let's focus on this problem. All right, so now what's next? So the next thing that you want to do, you want to draw X, okay? So let's draw X. So now in the eyeglass method, A times C will always be on top, okay? So a dot c will always be on top. So a times c is six times negative four is negative four is negative twenty four, right? So six times negative four is going to be equal to negative twenty four, okay? And the b value will be here. So v will be equal to negative five, okay? So negative 24, negative 5. So now you need two number. If you multiply, you're going to get negative 24. But if you add, you're going to get negative 5. So think about those two numbers. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, okay? Again, you need two number. You need two numbers. If you multiply, you get negative 24. But if you add, you're going to get negative 5. What are those two numbers? All right. So those two numbers are negative 8 and positive 3, right? Okay. Negative 8 times positive 3 is equal to negative 24. Negative 8 times positive 3 is negative 5. So that's fine. Okay. So now we found out our number so what's next so what you want to do you want to multiply these numbers by x okay so you want to have negative 8x and positive 3x okay now the negative 8x and positive 3x now are we done no we still have we still have a little bit more work to do okay so now watch so let me write down the question one more time so 6x square minus 5x minus 4 okay so what you want to do you want to keep the first term and the third term as it is so 6x square minus 4 now in this so this is the most important part of this problem so instead of writing negative 5x you want to write negative 8x plus 3x negative 8x plus 3x and you can do it you can do it because negative 8x plus 3x is actually equal to negative 5x okay so let me show you negative 8x and positive 3x is actually negative 5x so you can write 
negative 8x plus 3x instead of writing negative 5x, okay? So now, what do you notice? The first thing that catches my attention is how many terms that we have here. I have one, two, three, four. I have four terms, right? So whenever you see four terms, the first thing that you should think of, you should think of factor by grouping. Okay, so we're going to apply factor by grouping to solve this problem. So let's, we're going to group this first two together, okay? So six and negative eight. So what's the biggest number that goes into both six and negative eight? So that's going to be, that's going to be two, right? Two is the biggest number that goes into both six and uh, eight. X square and X, we are always going to take the X with the lowest power, so just X. Now we are going to factor, well, three and four. Uh, so three and four, we can't factor anything out one goes into three and uh, negative four um, so we're going to factor out by just one can we factor out x no we don't have any x term here so we're not going to factor out by x so we are only going to factor out by one okay since this sign is positive this one should always should also be positive okay okay so this sign matters all right we're almost there so we're going to factor out by 2x that's going to give us 3x minus, uh, minus 4 plus 1, 3x minus 4, all right? So whenever you see, I hope you notice the pattern that we have 3x minus 4 here and we also have 3x minus 4, right? So that means, that basically means we, we are on the right track. Now you can factor out now you can factor out 3x minus 4 divided by 3x minus 4 You're almost there so it's going to be 3x minus so you can now you can factor out 3x minus 4 and we have 2x plus 1 okay and that's it we are done so the question is, how do you know that your answer is correct? You can always apply distributive property to double check the answer, okay? Uh, okay, let me, let me, let me apply the distributive property to double check. So 3x times 2x is 6x square. 3x times 1 is equal to 3x negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x negative 4 times 1 is positive 4 so you have 6x square minus 5x plus 4 so 6x uh, 6x square minus 5x plus 4 that's what we that's what we had before so that means our answer is correct so this is going to be our answer okay so this is going to be our answer and you just learned about the eyeglass method thank you take care